Welcome to the MTC Report, the news behind the news with journalist Mark Taylor Canfield. We offer you independent voices and underreported stories about topics you won't hear anywhere else. Hi, this is Mark Taylor Canfield, and I want to welcome you to my report. Uh, I want to talk to you today about something that you should all know about. Anybody who does any kind of online shopping should know that there are fake shopping websites. Yes, not surprising. Buyer beware, right? That's always been the case. Uh, so here's the problem. They will pop up on the right-hand column on your Facebook site, and it will say sponsored, right? Doesn't mean that that's a legitimate website. It just means that they paid Facebook to advertise. Same with Google, same with Instagram. Okay, um, a good example, and I'll, I'll put some photos in this video to, of screenshots of what I've found on my own accounts. But a uh, great example uh, on Instagram, you know, somebody was offering an electric scooter for $99, right? Sounds great. Um, so here's how you protect yourself from these sites because they are fake, they are not real, and they are actually trying, uh, they're fishing expeditions trying to get your banking information. So first thing you should watch out for, if you see an ad and you can find no other review for that company anywhere on the web, in any search engine you try, that is a bad sign. There's some basic uh, guidelines we can go by here, folks, in order to try to protect yourself. And one of them is, even though they'll say, uh, one time only, time is running out, buy now, 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 uh, take a minute, take a deep breath, do some research. There are some simple things you can do one, of course, is yes, look for reviews on their own website. If there are no reviews for this product, buyer beware, okay? If you can find no reviews anywhere online for this particular website or company, buyer beware, okay? That's sign number one that something is not right here. Um, but another thing you can do, of course, is go to the Better Business Bureau website, the BBB, and see whether this company is even registered with the Better Business Bureau. If it's not, another uh, sign, right, that maybe something's not quite right here. And there are also some verification websites that you can use for free, and I will put a link down below, um, down below, that you can link to that will help you protect yourself mm -hmm. from companies like this, because what they do is they do some quick little research using, I believe, an AI program on the website, uh, on the domain name, to see how old it is, what's the history, it, you know, is there any kind of trustworthy rating there, or what's the situation and what you will find is that a lot of these ads are on websites that popped up overnight that maybe 24 hours ago didn't exist okay there's another sign that something may not be completely right you know there of course there are companies that are just starting out hopefully they're smart enough to, you know to give out a few samples of their product or something so they can get some re reviews ahead of time so people have something to go by um, it's always great, you know, of course, when websites have videos that actually show you their product and people using their product and maybe a little tutorial, that's great. However, you have to be careful. These websites are so professionally done. They use professional models. They have um, professional photography and graphics on these websites. They look great. Um, sometimes the terms and conditions and the privacy policies are actually copied and pasted verbatim from some other legitimate company. So these are all things that you know you, you think it looks legit well okay maybe maybe not you have to keep doing your research until you can make an educated decision okay so even if the photography looks great the products look great by the way one sign is that they're only selling one or two products that aren't necessarily um, connected in any way but there are many different ways to fool you and one of them is by using really great professional looking websites some of the domain names are not .com, they're .shop or other things. Uh, another thing you might look out for are uh, domain names that are basically just randomly picked uh, letters and numbers. It's like, um, it just doesn't make any sense, the name of their website. And that's just because they're picking whatever happens to be, you know, available and sometimes using random letters. Um, you know, but these are the things you really need to be aware of, okay? Y now you think, you know, these are not real companies, um, so they're going to have, uh, you know, mistakes on their website that will be obvious. Not necessarily. I'm saying the scams are getting so good. And Facebook, I think, and, you know, Instagram and, um, and uh, the, the other websites um, might tell you 
um, on Google, um, you know, they're probably going to say we're doing the best we can, you know, to vet these um, companies. But once they buy the ad, they're out there. I, I, as, as of the making of this video, that's how things are working. So buyer beware. I'm just going to keep repeating that throughout this whole video because these are very deceptive websites. This is not um, fly by night in the middle of the night operations and you know in somebody's bedroom. These are you know professional scam artists who know what they're doing and have a lot of skills. So, but the thing is, is once you go to their website, once you link, you know now you're already probably going to be a part of a phishing expedition. Um, of course, when you go to their checkout and you put in your banking information, now all bets are off, right? Um, here's the thing. If this happens to you and um, you find out that it's a fake website, file a complaint with the Federal Trade Commission, the FTC. Ultimately, on a federal level, um, as far as I understand it, they are um, in charge of regulating um, online sales in this way and handling complaints against fraudulent websites. So the FTC needs to know. But here's the thing. Uh, these websites are so clever and ingenious and they do it so quickly and then, then they disappear so quickly that the FTC a lot of times doesn't even have time to investigate them. Um, it's, it's, the, it's the old way of scamming people that, you know, people used to get phone calls and you, they would fish for information from you that way, promise you a, a free um, vacation in Hawaii or Mexico or something and then try to get your banking or credit card information. Um, these websites I'm talking about, um, they look good, they pop up as, quote, sponsored ads um, on very well recognized um, social networking platform websites. And just be very, very careful, I'm telling you, um, watch out. And like I said, there's sort of a list to check off, and I'll, I'll tell you one more that you should, you should check this story out, okay? So I'm thinking one thing, you know, I did find one or two articles somewhere on the web about these kinds of websites, and one of the um, one of the guidelines said, you know, look for a physical address, and you know, it's um, if there's no physical address and there's no phone number to contact anybody at the company um, in terms of complaints or handling your order or whatever, that is also a red flag. Um, however. There was at least one website, um, or two of them actually, that I remember that were so sophisticated, even though they were fake, that they actually had physical addresses on the website. You know, so I thought, well, I better double check, right, and find out if this company is legit. I noticed that the ad, um, the ads, oftentimes are, are going to be um, feeding you back um, products that you may have been researching before or bought before. They will offer you an amazingly, amazingly low price. Like, here's one, an electric bike for $99, okay? A really great electric scooter for $99. You know, um, if it's too good to be true, sometimes it's not. So it, you have to be very careful before you click that <laughs> buy button. Um, and so I found a website and I thought, I'll do a little bit more research on this and I will check out the physical address. So, of course, I went to, you know what, Google Maps, right? And I put in the, the address, and guess what? <laughs> There's no business at that address. So, fake address, or a fake, or a location where there is no business. So, that happens too. You, so, you can't even rely on the fact that they have a physical address. So, just be careful. I know you are all are out there wanting to buy the latest thing, and you're really excited about getting it, and you know, and me as a musician, I go through that too with, you know, new equipment and instruments. But you have to be very, very careful who you're dealing with and look for reviews. And if there are no reviews, then I'm sorry, even if you're a startup company, if there's no review of your site or your business, um, people are going to be very, very wary and should be very wary of buying your product because you need some kind of an established um, record or at least register with the Better Business Bureau, have... Um, someone review your products ahead of time before you release them to the consumers, to the public, and um, build some kind of track record where people can um, trust you. Because if you miss, you know, the physical address and you don't even have a phone number and there's no reviews and no one's ever heard of your site before, or you know, and um, oftentimes there are photographs of really legitimate products. I'm not saying that the products are fake. I'm saying that the websites are fake. But how hard is it, you know, to photocop to copy uh, and paste an image from somebody else's website onto your own it's so easy so buyer beware um, it looks good the
price will be great. There'll be some kind of, you know, clearance special, only three left, you know, be careful. There are also some other websites that are legitimate, um, in my experience, but also are a little bit scammy in that they may advertise something that for an extraordinarily low, pr low price, just like these other um, fake retail websites I'm talking about. Um, and then you'll find out it's out of stock. Oh, I'm sorry, did you order this? You know, you, you, you used your credit card, your debit card, and oh, we're out of stock. And so instead of refunding your money, which, first of all, they should not be advertising something that's not in stock, okay? That should be, you know, a red flag. And, you know, if that happens, folks, you know, businesses should probably, you know, um, do some kind of a, an audit of their inventory um, system. But here's the thing. Uh, so they offer you something else in exchange, which also they'll say is at a higher price, but we'll give it to you for the same price as this other product because we're so sorry that we're out of stock on that item. And it turns out that the original item was marked down like 300% or something crazy. And so it, totally illegitimate offer. No one could afford to sell it at that price. And then the, the other um, item that they're offering you in exchange for this item that is supposedly out of stock um, turns out to be something that's really cheap and, you know, not anywhere near the quality of the thing you originally bought. So in the situation where I ran into that, I just demanded my money back no matter what they offered me. I just kept writing them. I th and I think in this case, I could only s send emails, actually, even though it's a legitimate company and uh, or had a form on their email, you know. But, you know, I just kept saying, no, I don't want it. I don't want it. Give me my money back. This is a scam. And eventually they did refund my money. Um, so there you go. If it happens to you, uh, file a complaint with the Federal Trade Commission. Tell your friends. Watch out for the fake websites. Um, uh, I'm just saying they're popping up on legitimate social networking platforms, and they look real, and everything looks great. But if you do research, uh, the domain name was bought 24 hours before. Uh, they have no record on anybody's website. The BBB doesn't even know they exist. Um, that's what I'm saying. So this is Mark Taylor Canfield in Seattle, actually tonight, um, in the studio, reporting on fake uh, retail websites. So watch out. The MTC Report, the news behind the news with journalist Mark Taylor Canfield. We offer you independent voices and underreported stories about topics you won't hear anywhere else. Join us as we delve into the deeper issues behind the news stories of the day on the MTC Report.